What up, YouTube? Hello, Bella here. I am going to talk to you about something that has been going on with me lately, and that is the depression and sort of emptiness that has come after my um, KonMari, the life-changing magic of tidying up. Um, basically, life-changing um, decluttering of my home. So, I got rid of almost all my stuff. Um, I got rid of two-thirds of my clothes, most of my um, valuable stuff that was just like I could sell it so I just consigned it. Um, I got rid of all of this stuff that was from like what I would call my past lives. So stuff that wasn't really serving me anymore. And I'm sort of in a weird transitional phase in my current life. So I've been feeling very depressed and I kind of just typed in minimalism and depression and I didn't get a whole lot of videos but I got a few and they were all saying the same thing they said that after they got rid of their stuff some of them felt sad and I said well that makes a lot of sense because um you know every time that I go out and get stuff you just get a little buzz and you feel happy you're excited about your thing you feel accomplished because you got to buy something um you feel secure because you had the money to buy it um, you feel validated because you bought yourself something. All of those feelings that we can't um, necessarily produce if we're not trying. We can get them from shopping but or, you know, other things. But shopping is a big one for people. So I guess I just kind of realized that I was using um, shopping and kind of all of that to cope. And now I don't have it. And so it's like I've lost one of those tools and I've got to replace it with something else. So, um, and this is my room. It's pretty simple. I have my closet open over there. I think I counted, I have 28 things hanging up and then I have my clothes in my dresser, um, like shorts and workout pants and uh, t-shirts and of course socks and undies. Um, and I don't know if you can see in the top of the closet up there, probably won't focus in, but I've got two tubs, um, or not tubs, but little boxes. And in those I keep my, um, swimwear and winter scarves and then this is the only things I have in my room in my bed my nightstand my dog corner um, and yeah so the rest of my house has a similar aesthetic so it's sort of like I am stuck in here um, and so that's been tough for me I want to mention that um, coping and shopping are things that we learn right so um, love my mom to death, but she literally kind of taught me, like, shopping equals celebration, shopping equals major life changes, shopping equals shop because we're sad, shopping equals shop because we're happy, shopping equals shop because we're bored. Um, it just sort of reinforced that, um, I need to spend money in order to be happy, or I need to have things in order to be happy. Um, and that is sort of like I'm undoing that and it's very tough because I mean I even caught myself I went to went to town that's what we call it in Alabama I went to town and I literally went in like two stores and I was like oh my god I don't need anything like that's that's so crazy because you know I've been shopping my whole entire life and I didn't need anything so um, going to town with a purpose and a list is a lot different than just going to town because you don't have anything else to do um, and one thing I would also do is I would like go to Target which every girl knows how good it feels to go to Target but sometimes I would go to Target and it would be because I was so alone and like it's kind of sad it might be like a Saturday or Sunday night and I would just walk the aisles of Target trying to find something that would make me happy and I'm like good god when I look back at that I'm like that is so like not healthy at all like Target was literally like what I was my feet are probably like oh my gosh this is so dirty I guess I should mop Ugh, sorry about that um anyways Target is not a coping strategy it shouldn't be a coping strategy um because most of us we already have everything we need and that's what I sort of realized like 
Aside from, I would like to buy some jeans and long sleeve clothes, but I'm not going to go out and buy the ones that I don't love. And that's also been a big shift for me, is I no longer buy things that I don't absolutely love. So, like, if I try something on and it's, like, kind of cute, but it doesn't fit quite right or it's pulling a little bit, I literally will put it back. Because I'm not trying to invite things in my life that are going to cause me struggle. Um, everything I own right now fits great. And I want to keep it that way. Everything I own right now looks good on me. And I want to keep it that way. And that is sort of like, you know, being more mindful with your purchases. I feel like you'll shop less. You might go to the store, but you won't necessarily come home with anything. And when you don't come home with anything, like, it's sort of like you failed as a shopper. Um, you know, we always see, if you think about like you know in movies and stuff you always see the women carrying all the bags like that's like this she's happy and there's like a movie montage and she's got all these bags and like even what was it pretty woman when she goes shopping um that's kind of what I think of so you know we're sort of like a culture that really wants people to buy stuff and I think retail therapy is honestly like it's a joke in our culture but it's also like a joke that everybody knows right everybody knows like oh you're feeling bad you have a breakup let's go to the mall like let's let's go buy buy you some new clothes to get a makeover and so you're kind of just reinforcing this like stuff can make you feel better attitude and you know I love stuff I I mean everybody loves to get things but what this minimalism and decluttering has taught me is that like um, you know, buying something just for the sake of buying it is stupid because your, your money's going to be gone and you're probably not going to use that thing. Um, I have a couple of notes here. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, yeah, I mean, how I'm handling it, I'm kind of doing a little bit of decluttering still and organizing what I do have. I recently went out and bought some like little baskets and did um, organizing all of my drawers in the bathroom and the kitchen so that when I do look for one of the things that I've bought, I can actually find it. Um, and also I'm dealing with it with gratitude. Um, I'm feeling like I'm being more mindful even when I do my laundry. Every Sunday is laundry day and I will basically um, start folding my clothes and look at everything and thought, wow, I wore all of this this week. I like all of this. Like, I'm going to wear it again next week. And so just a little bit of gratitude goes a long way. Um, also, I'm kind of trying to dig deep and see what am I really feeling. Um, especially like today, um, I went to the antique mall and like I didn't really want anything and I didn't really need anything and so I was just walking around and I don't feel like that's like really productive I love the antique mall but like it's different when you go in there with a purpose like hey I know that I need a place to store something or I'm looking for like a specific poster or something like that it just feels different than I'm just wondering aimlessly hoping that something catches my eye um, and so I think that that's what we do though we feel empty and bored and so we just try to basically feel that feel that emptiness with stuff um, because it's uncomfortable to feel like this um, honestly like I would rather just go shopping I'd rather just go to Target tonight um, but that wouldn't help me grow and that wouldn't help me deal with the root issues of why I feel the way I feel um, I want to mention someone's channel that I really have found useful in she she calls herself the Wonder Luster. Um it's W O N D E R Wonder Luster. Um she is doing a no buy year. So she's not buying anything that is not essential to her living. Um she won't replace anything until she uses up one of what she has, so like a deodorant or a concealer or something like that. And I think that's a really good way to in, you know, reinforce the the no buy thing and to have a little bit of mindfulness in our purchases um, I've certainly bought stuff that I hated I've bought like skin creams and I've bought makeup and primers and concealers and nail polish and things that just like I use it one time and I was like oh my god I hate this and then you're just like well what am I supposed to do with it I want to throw it away but at the same time I don't want to use it so um, yeah it's just kind of it's a lot of stuff like that but dealing with the depression, and I mean, I deal with depression anyways, but I think this whole KonMari thing has really, like, not triggered it, but it's it's allowed me to, like, explore um, some of my patterns. Um, and especially when I got rid of all my books, I was, like, kind of emotional about it, honestly. Um, 
I don't have to get rid of my books, guys. I'm not making myself get rid of my books. I got rid of my books because I'm not going to read them again. And I'm not going to give them away. And they're just taking up space. And so my theory was that if I get rid of these books, guess what? I'm inviting new books into my life. I'm inviting books that are relevant to me now. And it's the same with your stuff. If you get rid of your clothes that you hate, hopefully you're inviting some clothes into your life that you do like and that do fit you well um, so don't hold on to stuff that is not serving you anymore would probably be the biggest takeaway but yeah I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys and talk about depression minimalism minimalism is like so trendy right now and it's honestly like a hype thing because I don't really consider myself like a strong minimalist like obsessed with getting rid of everything but I consider myself a more like a mindful purchaser and um you know just sort of bringing awareness to what I buy and how much money I spend on it I don't spend a lot of money on things because I've always had um a love of thrifting and so like I'll thrift to find what I need and if I don't find it I won't buy it so yeah minimalism as a whole right now huge weird movement and I think that that just comes from our like millennial people are basically like realizing hey we are working our lives away and we're working for stuff we don't even want to make other people impressed so to me minimalism and decluttering and Kalmari really allow you to get rid of things in your life that are not serving you and things that don't matter um, because why would you keep something if you don't use it and why would you keep something if you don't love it so yeah that's it for this video um, I wanted to record in here because I've never really showed anybody I don't think I don't think I've showed my my room on YouTube um maybe I have but uh yeah so we're just gonna hang out for the rest of the night and <laughs> hopefully find some healthy coping strategies I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm probably gonna read and that's about it so thanks guys